Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I've got a big smile on my face because I am super excited about what we're fixing to do for this video. It's going to be a big old pain, but it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. So, recently I picked up a 350 Legend rifle from Gun Prime. Appreciate Gun Prime. I needed a 350. I called them up. They said, "Come on down, buy it." I bought this one right here. This is the Ruger American Ranch rifle in 350 legend and on top of it I've got a zero tech vengeance scope everybody always asks me what scopes I got that's a zero tech vengeance super clear glass perfect setup for a hunting rifle I specifically bought that one because tons of you have the Ruger American Ranch and I also have the 450 Bushmaster so we could do a bunch of comparisons with those 16 inch barrels but what we're gonna do this is for all you hunters out there or people that just like to do some precision planking with your 350, almost said 350 Bushmaster, 350 Legend. We went out and did something crazy. We've got just about every type of 350 Legend ammo that you can get. From light stuff all the way up to really heavy stuff specifically made for some suppressors up to some pretty awesome match grade level stuff. Let me run you through the ammo real quick. I'm going to shoot 100 yard groups. I'm like three minutes into my monologue and I haven't even said what we're going to do. We got all this ammo. It's all 350 Legend. I bet y'all didn't even know there was this many different types of 350 Legend. And I'm going to shoot them all at a three shot group at 100 yards. And yeah, you guys will know what, what the Ruger American likes best. And I don't know what I need to take hunting. And I don't know. Uh, which ammo we need to take when we go shoot a video shooting this rifle at a thousand yards um, And it's gonna be awesome um, I think I already know which one but we're gonna get the proof here I'm gonna do my absolute best shoot the rifle out of a vise at a hundred yards gonna get it on film Let me show you all this ammo. Can you tell I'm excited about this video? It's gonna be a pain to film and edit, but it'd be worth it. Let me show you all the all the uh, ammo real quick before we get to slinging bullets all right, so close up on this ammo here, we got some Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain. And we've got some Browning 124 grain, full metal jacket. I think that might be the lightest. We got some Federal non-typical 180 grain. Go back up to the top. We got some Winchester 160 grain, Power Max bonded. Then we got some Full Metal Jacket, Winchester White Box, 145 grain. We got some, what is this, 155 grain Browning BXR Rapid Expansion. It's got a picture of a deer, so it must be good for deers. Then we've got some of this Bear Creek Ballistics, 160 grain. That's the stuff, to tell you the truth, that I'm the most excited to try out. That stuff should be pretty good. Then we got some Federal Power Shocks. That's real common. I hunt with that quite a bit. 180 grain. Also has a picture of a deer. Then we got some, we'll go back up to the top. Hornady American Whitetail. What's that? Um, 170 grain stuff there. 170 grain. Then we've got some crazy heavy 250 gra 255 grain Winchester Super Suppressed. And then we got some heavier Winchester Super X, 180 grain. But yeah, we're going to run down the row, try to make this not an hour-long video, and I'm going to start slinging bullets. I'm going to get back there to 100 yards, show you what I'm shooting, and we're going to do three-shot groups. Should be a whole lot of fun. All right, so check this out. Here's our rig. We've got seven plates up here on the range, and each one of them, I've labeled, you can see there, Bear Creek 160, Winchester 255. I'm gonna go down there sling bullets. We're gonna get it all on film. And then our rig here only holds seven, so then we're gonna have to do another batch of four after that. But don't forget to subscribe to Heavy Metal. It'll be the first link down below. Tell Paul you appreciate him helping us build this little rig here for this scientific video. Let's, uh, let's get to slinging bullets. Bear Creek's up first. Here we go now. First three shots are gonna be the Bear Creek Ballistics. 
I'm gonna put up in the corner all the ammo as we're shooting it. Let's go three shots of this Bear Creek stuff. See what we can do here. I'm gonna try to do my best for every single one of these here. Got this scope on 12 power zoom. Pretty near close. Uh, it's also worth mentioning, I sighted this rifle in with some 180 grain ammo, so they're not all gonna hit bullseye, but we should be able to see the groups. All right, that one right there might be within an inch there. Next is gonna be the 255 grain Winchester subsonic stuff. 255 grain. I think this is the heaviest stuff here. Three shots of this stuff. Same hold and everything on all these rounds. Wow, ha <laughs> ha! So, that didn't even hit the plate, those super heavy ones, so I'm gonna hold the top of that plate. Um, but, I mean, that's all part of this test too, is to see where the point of impact is. So I'm gonna hold the top of the plate. All right. I think we're still low. I'm gonna hold about six inches high. We might have to come back to this one. Yeah, so that's dropping about a foot more. Uh, that's pretty crazy. But the next one is gonna be this Hornady, uh, what is this called? Uh, American Whitetail. This should at least be on the paper how this thing's sighted in. This is 170 grain. All right, third plate here, 170 grainers. Did I only load two there? No. Yeah, I only loaded two. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Let's uh, send two more of these Hornady American Whitetails. Well, that one just about hit the same hole. That was pretty good. Hmm. So far that whitetail uh, looks like it's doing the best for us. Go on to the next one. This is some um, of the federal non-typical 180 grain. That one right there in the middle, see what this one does. at the same hole. Uh, yeah, 180 grain federal uh, non-typical. That's like the cheapest stuff, I think. Wow. That's three in the same hole, guys. Three in the same hole. Man, this is why I love doing these videos. All right, so next one is 180 grain Super X PowerPoint from Winchester. 180 grain. Uh, see what happens with these.
a good group there too. Two in the same hole. Next we got the 145 grain uh, Winchester full metal jacket. It's about the cheapest stuff you can find. Ten, twelve dollars a box. At least it used to be. I couldn't tell you about today a while since I paid for this. But <clears throat> let's see what, what hits with these. Last one's a little bit far. So here we go. Uh, last one on this run is going to be the Blue Box uh, Federal Power Shocks. I shoot a lot of this for as cheap of cheap as it is. Um, most of my rifles like it. But let's see what this one likes. Another good one. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon, but let's uh, let's get set up for the rest of those, and at the end of the video, I'll put them all side by side. The very first one, uh, I might do another group just so we can say it wasn't cold barrel group. Uh, but yeah, let's go set up some more plates. All right, here we go. Round number two. Let's sling some bullets. Go ahead and open up all these boxes quick. All right, now. So, first three this time. This is the Browning BXR 155 grain. These are silver, uh, silver brass. I don't remember how much these cost either, but... I said they're probably more expensive. We'll see what kind of group they get. See if they're worth the money here. Really like this setup with this scope and everything. Here we go. Browning stuff. Well, that was two inches to the left. See how it groups. Seems to be gripping pretty good. Let's take a third shot on it. Huh. Pretty good group. Pretty good group. All right, so my battery died on this camera. So some some of those past shots, you didn't see me actually pulling the trigger, but we got the footage of the plate being hit. We got two more to test out. This one right here is 160 grain Winchester Power Max bonded. Let's see what this one does here. Squeeze that trigger. These are also some of the more expensive ones right here, so you'd like to think the expensive ones do good. Not bad, not bad. Let's send in the third one. Doing the same hole, so that's pretty good. Alright, so the very first one I did was the Bear Creek Ballistics. So, like I said, I want to give them another benefit of the doubt because they were the only ones that had cold bore shots so this baby's warmed up we flinged a bunch of bullets through it 
Let's do a last last attempt here with the Bear Creek stuff out of the Ruger. Number one, let's see number two. I, did that go in the same hole? So we had two in the same hole. Last one, let's make the video a little longer. I want to shoot some more out of that thing. Here's two more of the Bear Creeks. <clears throat> same hole again. There's three in a row in the same hole. Those were the ones that I was going to guess were do the best. I just kind of wanted to prove myself right there. And Paul's giving me the thumbs up. That was four in the same hole there. So let's go up to the tail before it gets dark and just kind of show you the whole spread, you 350 Legend fans, you. All right, holy nuggets of fire. I don't know about you guys, but that was super exciting. These are the kind of videos that I get excited about. They cost a whole lot of money, take a whole lot of time, but... I think it's worth it. Check it out. I've got all this ammo and these plates lined up. I'm going to go over them pretty slow. So if you want to pause the video and look at it, go ahead and pause that sucker. But I'm going to run down the rows and show you exactly what we got. That last one with the Bear Creek, holy nuggets. Four just about in the same hole. That's pretty wild. But check it out. <clears throat> this is not in the order. This is just in the order that I laid them out on the table. But here we go. Federal Power Shock 180 grain. Two in the same hole. One uh, probably about an inch away. These are not perfect measurements. We just drew some lines. So two in the same hole, one an inch away. Winchester 145 grain full metal jacket. Two pretty close to touching and one about an inch away. Winchester Super X PowerPoint 180 grain. Pretty fantastic group for some cheap hunting ammo. Two in the same hole and one touching. That's pretty good. Pretty impressive. Then we got the Federal Non-Typical 180 grain. Look at that. Three in the same hole. That's three shots, guys. Three in the same hole. That's some good stuff. Also some of the cheapest you can get. Now, this stuff is typically a little bit more expensive, but normally good. 170 grain Hornady American Whitetail. That's our group we got out of that. None of them touching, but still good enough to take a deer. This stuff is the Subsonic 255 grain. To get that hit, I aimed about right here. So, if you sight in with some of this other stuff, do not expect the suppressed stuff to hit anywhere near, but I wasn't going to recite the rifle in just for one, but we'll have to do that another time. If you guys want to see that, comment down below. Then I'm going to go back over here. So, Winchester Power Max Bonded, 160 grain. Pretty impressive. That's three shots, guys. Two in the same hole, one almost touching. Pretty good stuff. Now we got the Browning 124 grain full metal jacket. Check this out. Three touching. Pretty impressive groups out of that Browning stuff. Now we got the Browning BXR 155 grain. Two touching, one almost touching. Pretty good stuff. Then we got some Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain. And these are the extreme points. They got that little plastic tip. Two touching. One maybe a quarter inch away. So absolutely probably good to shoot your deers with. The last one I'm going to show you. This is the Bear Creek Ballistics 160 grainers. First group. Again, this was a cold bore. First three shots. Not too terribly impressive. 
if we would have stopped there, that probably would have been the best, or the, the worst out of everything. But I kind of didn't want to believe that. So I did another uh, group there at the end. You guys saw it on film. That is four shots. I think that might have been the first one. I'm not sure. But that right there, guys, that is four shots. So the uncontested winner, guys, is that Bear Creek Ballistic stuff. And, um, yeah. That's pretty impressive. But, all in all, there wasn't a, a ammo that was absolutely terrible, was it? No, at all. I mean, done well. I'm going to chalk that up to this video being um, shot by a crazy impressive shooter. Just saying. <laughs> okay, that was half a joke. Maybe it was a full joke. I don't know. But, um, you got to give props to the weapon and the scope. Let's get another quick look at it. Like I said at the beginning of the video here, this is the 16 inch barrel Ruger American Ranch and we've got a Zero Tech Vengeance on top, some real good glass. You cannot get groups like that guys um, without good trigger pulls. So, I'm not an expert shooter but I did use that vise and I lightened that trigger up as light as it would go just so I could give all these bullets the benefit of the doubt but that was a long video i enjoyed filming it again big thanks to heavy metal paul y'all go subscribe to his channel down below he did a bunch of the camera work on this video and setup so i appreciate him go subscribe and tell him you appreciate him comment down below any more ideas for 350 legend videos maybe we do all these on the chronograph hmm but appreciate y'all stay tuned we're out here having too much fun now i gotta pack all this up in a truck but appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo.